This home right here used to be in the parade of homes and was actually spotlighted in the uh, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City in the pilot, if you ever watched that thing. Uh, however, the home that we're looking at for today is from Ezra Lee Design and Build, which is a very custom, very posh, luxury home builder. And it's got a view, a stunning view of Big Cottonwood Canyon and of the Salt Lake Valley. So. Last time I was here was back in 2013 when that home back there was the winner. However, now, hold on, let me see. We have a lot of more options, a lot more homes built already. All this stuff did not exist back in 2013. So uh, because of the high interest in this home, um, there's only one way, I guess no parking, but this, this is the home that we're gonna be looking up in a few minutes so see you in a bit all right so check out these views so obviously it doesn't do it justice if you were standing here you would see how grand this view is it's just massive you're obviously against the mountain but as i said this is the home that we're going to be looking at in the next few minutes um a little over 8500 square feet which is truly stunning four to four and a half million dollars contemporary design views no matter where you look whether you look back there you look at the salt lake valley no matter where you're looking whether it's east east west south or north you're gonna have a view it's got an infinity pool it's got views from everywhere i already said that uh underground garage it's just a truly stunning home so we're gonna go ahead and take a look but look look at this massive windows on this home it's just definitely the uh, this i know and, and, and i should mention welcome to the video i i I just started right from the beginning with the home, but it's a truly stunning home. One of the best. This builder, uh, I got a hold of him, uh, I think like four months ago because I have a client that needed to buy uh, or build a home somewhere between a, a million to 1.2. And I talked to these builders and they said they don't take any jobs below 2 million. There's so, such high demand that they want to basically cater to the 2 million plus. So. Without further, further ado, we're just going to go in. Lots of interest, lots of people here. So it's going to take a while to get through this house. Uh, pretty sure those cars do not come with the home. So here's the facade of this home, at least on the east side, you know, facing the mountain. Pretty stunning. Uh, yes. So let's go. Let's go in. All right. So right from the get go, we have this massive door. Walk in into the receiving area. We have a suspended staircase, which is really, really nice. I love this this type of door. Let's go, let's start with the right. So lots of levels to check out. So this one, I'm assuming is gonna take us to the garage. Okay, so definitely, maybe I just walked out to the last part of the, the walkthrough, but we have, so basically a four car garage. You're good, you're good. Four car garage, lots of shelving, obviously it stays with the home. Um, going back into the main portion of the house, we have a little mud room, more shelving, more storage space. We come to bedroom number one. It's about 11, 10, 11 foot ceilings. And then we have the ensuite bathroom back here, which is pretty cool. And again, this home, everything you're gonna see is custom, custom from the ground up. They have no, <laughs> this is not a cookie cutter house. Everything you see will be custom. So we got the double vanity, lots of black accents with the wood. You got the tile floors, you got plenty of windows. Obviously you have a view of the back of the house and of the valley. You have this pretty cool shower, no glass. I'm assuming it has no glass at all. But you have a view of the Big Cottonwood Canyon. Obviously the rest of the development. Pretty cool, different, definitely more contemporary contemporary modern look um we do have well i guess we can't go outside but it does have a wraparound uh balcony going around to the uh other side of the house but uh you do have a pretty good sized backyard like i said back in 2013 none of these homes were here including this one um in fact uh, I do know, or I have heard that Post Malone actually lives around here. None of these homes, most likely, but he lives around here. So you have Post Malone as your neighbor. 
Um, okay, so we have bedroom number one here, additional bedroom number one. I love the lighting fixture, that's pretty cool. You have your TV, you have a little wet bar right there, so you kind of feel like you're in a hotel. Uh, like I said, we can't go out there, that's too bad. Okay, so right next to the garage, we have bedroom number one, which is again, very massive. Let's go downstairs. Okay, so as you go downstairs, you have more natural light coming in. Here's the more suspended staircase. I love the industrial look with the, the metal and the mesh uh, steel cables, which is really, really cool. Have another sitting area right over here. Lots of people here in this in this uh, home. Obviously, it's very coveted and very desired. You have some pretty cool decor with like a BMW bike. Obviously, with kids, they're gonna want to look at this right here, which is just, I guess, just for playing or storage. And then as you come down, you have an underground garage. Well, I guess, yeah, this is an underground garage. Obviously, there's a garage door right there, but. So they did it, so they, they definitely went all out when it came to this. So it's it's an indoor garage slash game room. Obviously you have a pool table, you have um, cornhole, I think that's called cornhole. Um, let's see, sitting area, TV room, you have a wet bar right here with your, uh, your fridge, a small fridge, your sink, your microwave. Pretty cool. <laughs> this is this is definitely a man cave when it comes to like the, the design, especially with all this, like one of the industrial look, it's awesome. So, like I said, here's the garage. Like we looked upstairs, there's a four car garage. This would make it more for a fun. You could basically have like eight car garage here if you wanted to. Lighting fixture right there and then we can go outside and take a look at. Obviously with this size of the house, you do need three AC units. Like I said, you do get a view of the Salt Lake Valley. This is over looking over there, Draper and then Southwest end of the valley, like Daybreak and then the Great Salt Lake right over there. There's a ramp here to the upstairs. Obviously the property line goes along this chain link fence. But yeah, pretty stunning. Here's a view of the back of the house. It's definitely, if you want modern, these guys are it. But like I said, I talked to these guys about four or five months ago, looking for a home that was between one to 1.2 or a build. And these guys told me that they didn't take any jobs unless it was two and up. So. If that's your price range, if that's your, your budget, then yeah, you can you can talk with these guys. Uh, we can talk with them. So um, okay, I think we're gonna we can go that way, but I, I think I'm gonna go this way instead. All right, so just imagine your back cave. This is literally a back cave. You could have this as a back cave. You could have your five cars here and then four cars up there. You could have between eight to nine cars if you wanted to. That you could even have like a disco ball right here and have a nightclub, a full-blown nightclub. Oh, awesome, I'm, I'm liking this home a lot. So let's go upstairs. Okay, so there's the main entrance. Here's where I was just in, the, the underground garage. Here's another exit. Uh, here's where I was just standing a few minutes ago, but I guess you have access to yet more of the house. There's a little walkway wrap around the, the home itself. Yeah, and then let's see if we can actually get here. Actually, we might have to. Okay. So obviously there's different entry points when it comes to the pool, the infinity pool, by the way. But uh, we'll look at the rest of the house in a little bit. So obviously it's an open indoor, outdoor, uh, living entertainment. Uh, but check out this view. Check out this view. <laughs> If you want to bring a little bit of the Hollywood Hills to Utah, this is it. So check out this view. Got Big Cottonwood Canyon, ski resorts galore, and then you have a view of the whole Salt Lake Valley. And then those sunsets. This 20 minutes ago was stunning. So obviously you have your gas, uh, water, I was gonna say water fire feature right here. Obviously your hot tub, your pool sitting you know lounging you have tv right here obviously some pretty cool outdoor speaker system you know barbecue and anything you could want to entertain like i said this somewhere up there you have post malone living so you have potential post malone as a neighbor 
Uh, and then, like I said, uh, you open that and it goes indoor, outdoor entertainment. I'm guessing back there there's a bathroom. Not quite sure. I, I guess I should take a look. Then you have a little island out here. You have your wolf appliances. Backsplash is really cool, even though we're outside. Like I said, there's speaker system going all the way around. That's uh, just storage, so nothing, nothing big to see there. Um, let's get a view of this side. Uh huh. So right, like just like we saw right there with the kitchen, you get access to the family room, outdoor, indoor uh, living, which is pretty stunning. And then you have another sitting area. You can roast marshmallows, do whatever you want when it comes to, you know, massive party. You can have people here, you can people there, you can pick people in there. And then yes, again, this view. I, I don't get sick of showing this view. Obviously, as a potential resident of this, not just the development, but you know, this area, this is what you would have to get used to if you have to. Okay, so let's go into this main living space. So Obviously, you got the big sliding doors that just slide all the way into the actual wall so you don't have any restrictions. You have formal dining. You have this stunning view from your living room. You got the TV, the fireplace. You have the mountainside. No matter if it's the springtime, summer, fall, or even wintertime, it's gonna be gorgeous. Now, just imagine, you know, you have your little wet bar right here, but you have your reading area right here as you're reading your best novel, your most favorite novel you're writing a novel this is your view so pretty cool okay so you have your wet bar right over here and then you have a little office area game room office area directly adjacent to the family room and everything there's spe speakers all, all throughout but yes call this your office you know call this your office and this is what you get as a view <laughs> and then built-in bookshelves and like I said, this could be a game room. It could be just, uh, uh, yeah, I guess a working room. I, I don't even know how to explain because this home is nothing like any other one. So, okay, so like I said, high ceilings, speaker system throughout. You have the family room, view of the canyon, view of the Salt Lake Valley, oversized island with definitely lots of room to entertain. You have double um, ovens, and then you have the inside outside um, serving area. You have access through that way as well as through over there. And then obviously serving if you have a crew serving the drinks, serving the food. Um, I don't even know which way to go. There's like multiple ways we could go. So going this way, we have a little walk-in butler's pantry, obviously more Place or more places for food storage or for food prep. I'm assuming that's another another um, oven. I guess this wraps around, but this is this is just so cool. Look at this. Just you're doing the dishes, and this is what you see. You you have a family. You obviously, have, you can watch your kids as you're serving and as you're, you know, doing your thing. So, okay, going around, and this this is the size of this island. Okay, you have a little sitting area right here. Here's the main entrance. Like I said, it just wraps around. And then we already looked at this side. So as you look at this, so here's looking down to the underground garage and then it goes straight up, glass roof. So it's very scenic. No matter where you're looking, you get a view, whether it's of the valley, whether it's of the mountains, or it's just the, the sky. So suspended staircase, which I'm pretty sure it's in the hundreds of thousands when it comes to as a feature. And then directly we have the pretty cool lighting fixture. Plenty of windows so you get the natural light. I'm assuming this is gonna be the master bedroom. So you get the really cool lighting fixtures as you have the suspended bridge going over the foyer. My goodness, this is cool. Okay, so we go to the left. We have the master bath. Oh man. So this is the master bath. You go in, serve yourself a drink. And then you have your standalone bathtub, you have your toilet, you have your sauna right over here. And then you have your steam shower, walk-in shower right over here with a view. Check this out, so you're bathing, you have your shower heads, looks like a car wash, and then you're bathing here with, for anyone, I guess some, <laughs> I guess you'd have to have some, some actual like, 
uh, I don't know, some shades or something, because obviously people are going to see you, but if you don't care, by all means, go ahead. Obviously, all the details, what they've done, like polished, like copper, it's, it's amazing. So, sauna, standalone bathtub, and then we have the side-by-side -side, uh, double vanity, suspended with the underglow, very nice. Let's see what else. We have a little powder section right here for your makeup. It, it does have a bike backlight, so pretty, pretty good lighting. Okay, what else? What else? Walk-in closet. Okay, so you can access it from both three sides, from the actual bathroom and then from the each side. It is carpeted, it has massive skylights, pretty cool lighting fixture. So you're not gonna be complaining about the lack of light when it comes to you trying to close. Obviously you have a mirror right there, plenty of storage space. Let's go through the right. So this house is pretty automated. It is a smart home. So here's the master bedroom, which I'm guessing it's gonna be one of the main selling points when it comes to this home. So yeah, so check this out. So lots of people here though, but so you overlook the, the infinity pool, the gazebo, not gazebo, the pergola, custom the pergola. And then this is your view every morning as you wake up or as you go to sleep. And then here it is, the king size bed with that cool backdrop, uh, with cool lighting fixture. And like I said, it wraps around. If you're in a fight with your spouse, you just take one or the other and then go into your walk-in closet. And like I said, this oversees the downstairs, downstairs entertainment area which is stunning hey now this is this is why this home is worth between four to four and a half million dollars location views and quality of the product so just take one last view of this you know you're here in bed obviously i'm not going to get in bed but this is what you see from your own bed pretty pretty stunning so let's go look at the rest of the house and i don't know if you already looked at most of it but uh, I believe, okay, so there's more here. So coming out of the main Batmaster bedroom, we have another access point. There's a little loft area, roof terrace. So, so we have on the, this is on the north, uh, southeast corner of the, of the home. You come in through these doors coming from the master bathroom and you have a, a roof terrace, a deck terrace, really cool because it's facing basically the mountain side. But if you face that way, you face the Salt Lake Valley. Obviously, when, during winter time, you wouldn't really get much because, again, it's cold and it's snowy. But in the summertime, springtime, and in the fall time, you know, warm up yourself with your fireplace, a couple of drinks, family, or just come and enjoy this. And again, this does not do it justice. If you were standing here, you would see the... the um, What's the word I'm looking for? How how grand this view is, how really truly stunning this view is. This is one of those inter Instagram homes that you see everywhere, you see in the Hollywood Hills. So definitely this home, this builder actually can make jobs drop. So if you have any questions regarding it, I think, I don't think I've missed anything else from this home. If I do, I'll have to start the camera again. But from what I can see, I think I showed you every single corner of this home. It's truly stunning. So if you have any questions about the builder, um, the area, the real estate market here in the state of Utah, do let me know. You can call me, text me, email me, drop a comment, follow me, subscribe to this channel, and we'll go from there. So other than, unless I see something else that wows me, I think this is it. So until next time, peace. All right, so just, just as I expected, there's a lot more of this house that I did not get on video. So this is the other side of the house. You have another family family room right here with the TV and then basically a kitchenette. So basically you have two kitchens. So there's this one. Oh, it's more of a kitchenette wet bar. So we have a washer and dryer side by side. And then obviously more of an entertainment space, just like other parts of the home. Again, plenty of windows for natural light. My goodness, I can't believe I missed all this. <laughs> okay, so obviously more, more uh, walkout space right there to take in the view. We have a half bath right over here. Pretty simple, but it's still pretty cool though. It's not flush with the, with the countertop. 
And we have, oh my goodness, there's some more. Okay, so we have high ceilings in the fitness room. Pretty cool. And you still get the view. As you're working out on those muscles or yoga, you still have more view. So I was way off when I said that that was the end of the video. That was not the end of the video. So glass or mirrors throughout. Definitely a cool, cool vibe when it comes to your workout room, fitness room. Mechanical room. Then we have yet another bedroom right over here. This is facing the northeast side of the home. High ceilings as well. Cool lighting fixture. More windows. That's one thing they didn't lack on. It's definitely windows. Pretty cool view still. And, it, and that, especially what they did with the lighting. It's so cool. And then it does have an ensuite bathroom huge i would think that they're gonna add a glass here but it is an uh stand standing shower euro shower it does have a little more coverage here <laughs> if you have any neighbors building right next to you so you still have a cool view of the solid valley you have your single vanity and your walk-in closet with a window pretty cool okay so we have one bedroom. It's just kind of like a, it could be like an apartment if you wanted to. Uh, so fitness room and then more of a kid's room, I believe. Yeah. So you have the kid's bedroom and then, oh my gosh, my, my daughter would love this. Look at this. Wow. Pretty cool. Okay. So yet another be a be bedroom. I believe it was four bedrooms. That's what I read. It was four bedrooms and seven bathrooms, but I guess I could be wrong. Then walk-in closet. And then, like I said, it's an ensuite bathroom, so you have access to your tub. Everything is pink. I love the gloss pink tile. Single vanity, pretty high uh, bathtub. And again, you continue with the pink right there. So these guys are legit. You want something that's custom, you have the pockets for it, this is it. You wanna fill your bottle right there? You can do it also as well. And here's the little walkout to look at the rest of the view if you wanted to. Okay, now I think I actually got the rest of the house. So let's just take one last view of the house outside and then I'll end the video. All right, so I think I covered the whole of this house. So here's the four car garage, like I said in the beginning. You obviously have all these vendors, like different, whoever does the epoxy and all these different car companies, whether you want something luxurious or something like off-road. But here's one last view of this house. Obviously I parked right over there, but this is basically what you get with Ezra, um, custom build. Um, it's truly, truly stunning home. So like I said, this is a four or four and a half million dollar home. Uh, custom builders, they won't do anything below two million. I guess they can pick and choose. Uh, my actually stunning views, the location, uh, the quality of the product, obviously that facade. And like you saw, like there's so much in this house. Um, you truly get lost in it. And there's just, just multiple access points to this house. So I guess you should also invest in a really good security system. And like I said in the beginning of the video, you'll also have Post Malone as one of your neighbors. So I know I already ended the video, but I was falling short because there's so much more to take a look at. So uh, if you have any questions about this building, you already know what to do about this. If you want to, you know, get in contact and get something going, this is the time to do it. Um, especially this viewpoint, this vantage point, because as you see, there's still a lot more construction and Time is money, so let me know what you think. Show me any questions. Peace out.